Ariel wished time could get fun. <laughs> Speaking of morning, good morning. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm taking a break from my story because I found out I screwed up. <laughs> For the lack of one sentence, I gotta do like the first seven or eight Looks pages like all over again. I think you should design something that uses bracelets, rugs, study, casual, strong, and lavish. Rise and shine, and everyone! Most of that. I'm worried about the bracelets. Yep, don't have any bracelets. So there's a video right now that says somebody tap dancing in roller skates. I don't see how you can tap dance in roller skates. Oh, excuse me. Donald O'Connor tap dancing on roller skates. I don't see how you can do that, but... So, I forgot to find the blue chest yesterday. Ah, good. Okay. I forgot to find the blue chest yesterday, and that means I have to go and find it today. That's my Thanksgiving dress. I was gonna put brown, but I don't like the idea. Use a little more excitement. You know, brown's just not my color. <laughs> anyway, he's done with the place. Okay, so he's dancing with a little girl. She's probably about seven to nine. And he's on roller skates, but she isn't. Weirdness. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, okay, so, um. Being here is hey, all it's you! So, Sean and Jesse are having a conversation about the girls scheming and, uh. 
Yeah, he is. Well, he's at least dancing. I don't know if you can call it tap dancing, but that's what it looks like. Huh? Oh, a lot of seafood meals. It's just that's one of the ones that um, we had a lot. In and wonderful things are sure to happen. I hope so, Fairy Godmother. I hope so. Because, uh,. You know, right now, I'm feeling like throwing in the towel and saying the heck with it, but I'm not going to do it. That chapter has to get done, and whether it's cursed or not. Oh! <laughs> Poor guy. I don't know what movie that was, but, you know, what? Oh, that works. I, I don't know what movie that was supposed to be from, but, um, so they're in a gazebo and, uh, apparently he crashed into the wall. I mean, you know, um, yeah, I guess you'd call it a wall. Um, and... And it broke, and he fell into the bushes around the gazebo. <laughs> And stay in the sun, dear. Terrible for the complexion. Oh, I'm surrounded by fools. It's so good to see you. Watch it, or I'm going to water you. <laughs> oh boy, look at all this seafood. Goofy's going to be so impressed. That's right. You're looking Are you having Goofy over for dinner? Why would he be impressed about dinner? Donald, are you planning something? I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't appreciate the implication. Here, take this tip and don't worry about it. Bye. I've completed my patrol. All's quiet in this one. Kind of feel bad because I put Goofy's house way over there. Hi, Goofy. Look at all the amazing stuff I caught while fishing. Wow, that sure is a lot of seafood. Hmm. Did you really catch all that, Donald? Because some that. of it looks Don't like it's you. already cooked. Whack! Of course I caught it. I caught it and I cooked it. I'm the best fisher person in the whole valley. You're yeah, right. And nobody can say otherwise. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty hard to be a better fisher person than pirate. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Nobody's better than fishing. Okay, I couldn't read that. Because, you know, they ran all the words together. 
wonder if they did that on purpose or was that an accident? I think it was a, a thing where you know, like, um, they wanted to go and show that he's talking fast. Well, Power, how did things go, Donald? What was <coughs> Donald using all that seafood for? It was part of a scheme to trick Goofy into thinking he caught them all. Huh? Kind of funny he wanted it all cooked first. Well, in any case, your skills are getting pretty incredible. Who knows? Someday you might open a shape I read. Here you go, some raw iron, courtesy of Mr. McDuck. Use it to build something great for the village. The more deliveries you do for Shayrami Mobile, the more we'll be able to order. Great job! Okay, so while we're here in this valley, I'm going to go and look around for the blue chest because I don't think we got it yesterday. Like I said. Well, there's one. Like I said, I don't think we found it yesterday either. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to go make that silent because that's distracting me. Um, espe especially since... Um, Okay, so it's the video Classic Rocks, Classic Rock Anthems. It looks like it has a cat symbol or something like that. And then on The Voice, make a compilation um, on YouTube from three years ago. Um, anyway, I watch that one quite often because I like the songs on it. But it sounded like the person said something... You know, like, excuse me, ma'am, and it's like, okay, I know that's not on there. <laughs> but it was, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. The, you know, the judges got, um, got together and sing a song. You do that twice on here. Um, I think the other one is should I stay or should I go? Anyway. So I was working on my story. I was literally one page till I was done. And then I was listening to it. You know, because uh, for some reason the original file and the. And the one where I uh, fixed how to say Chantel because, you know, the way I spell it, it can't say Chantel. Although the way it's spelled, you cannot, I mean, it cannot say Chantel. Um... You know, it should be that if they are your companions, you know, if you can go and give them a house and all that stuff, that you ought to just be able to walk up to them and feed them. Not be led on a merry chase first. Um, but anyway, so, so I was listening to it and I'm like, ow, I missed part of it, you know. So, for the lack of one sentence, um, well, I don't know if there's more, but 
for the lack of one sentence, um, I have to do a lot of it all over again. And I am so frustrated. get there I just you know gotta keep working on it but I'm taking a dreamland valley break I don't know if I'm gonna go on um, GTA this time or not because like I said I'm trying to get that done it's so frustrating that I was one page away and then found out oh no you missed a spot No, I was trying to pick this up. Thank you. There was a um, mint growing out of the ground and I needed to pick it up because I don't think I have any extras. Maui, ain't you freezing your butt off? Not literally, but you know. Isn't it cold? And he's walking around in his bare feet, too. They didn't give him, you know, sandals to wear or anything. That says two days until Christmas. It's an inaccuracy, but it's still really cool. I wish it would actually count down. You know, like, if it's, um, if it's like December 1st, I've got your back. you know, it says 24 or 23 or however you would say that until Christmas and then you know because technically it's like okay do you count down you know like if it's if it's uh, November 30th are there 25 days till Christmas are there 24 days till Christmas you know because the advent calendar usually starts you know December 1st and then December uh, 2nd 3rd etc to 24 because then you get all those presents on the 25th I'm sorry that was some really bad camera uh Panning there. You know, when, when you go like this, that's panning. But sometimes the person who is doing the panning, you know, does it way too fast. So then you're like, whoa, what was that? You know. <laughs> or they zoom in so you can see the whatever it is, but they don't hold it on there. Not what I said. I said pick up the flower. But there are no good angles in this area to see them. You can hear them, but you cannot see them. So, if you have this, oh, I guess it'll shut off by itself then. 
So if you have that, I highly recommend using it in a winter dream snap. If we have a winter dream snap this year. I'm hoping we do. I'm hoping that they bring back a bunch of the Christmas stuff. Because my sister doesn't have it yet. And I figure some other people don't have it too. And, uh... Good morning! Good morning! Wow, what an amazing day! Um, I figure some other people don't have it too, so it would be great for them to be able to have it. Like the, uh, like the... Um... I think it's a holiday table. But I call it a Christmas table. Um, I'm sure there's other things. I just can't think of think of them off the top of my head at the moment. So I'm still trying to fill up those chests, you know, with the paprika and the bamboo and. All that fun stuff. Um, agave. So, agave. Uh, cumin. I mean, bamboo, cumin. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'd like. I mean, there's, there's a few things that I would like to be able to fill up. You know, from Eternity Isle. And then I can start in on... Um... Storybook Fail. Is the next one. I... I would like it if I could get monetized and then like if somebody says I can't afford I can't afford storybook veil or I can't afford eternity aisle you know I could go okay what's your um, you know what's your gamer name and how do I help you <laughs> I would be totally willing. You know, everybody's giving me so much support. I would be willing. I mean, I obviously can't get it for everybody, but I'd be willing to try. Well, I'm guessing that over here has too much stuff for the blue chest to be here. Like I said, we found one, but I don't know that we found... Dang it. not gonna get it because I can't get to that one. It's gonna take too long to go around. My you know, I should go and feed the turtles, but the idea was to go to turn the aisle and collect that stuff and then Put my Xbox aside and... Oh yeah, that's something else. Okay, so either my charger is messed up or my battery's messed up. Now, it's probably my battery though. Today? Because I took it off the charger. It's at 100%. Maybe 
me. It literally said 100%. And then, literally, I used it for 30 seconds and the battery had been drained. I do mean 30 Morning, seconds. I tried to answer uh, a text that my sister sent me and well I tried to get her uh, I tried to get the the message or the picture or whatever because because you know we go and if we had a really weird dream or you know dreamed at all you know we like to share it with each other so um You know, usually it's like if it's the really weird dreams, like, you know, you were on a date with your ex-boyfriend or something like that, and, and you end up kissing like you loved each other again, you know, something like that. Um, like, every once in a while... She has a dream about a certain person, and it's like, why, 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 why? <laughs> I mean, I could understand if she was like, you know, say, dating uh, an actor in her sleep. You know, that would that, you know, people dream about that kind of stuff. But like dreaming about that person, you know. And, doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Oh. Uh, all I was trying to do is, you know, answer that. And literally, it was on for... You know what? That doesn't work. Um, literally, it was on for like 30 seconds. And... It died, so we're gonna have to go to the um, you know, we're gonna have to go to the uh, cell phone place today. Normally, I give everybody a shout out, even that W store that I don't like, but. Well, okay, fine. We deal with Verizon, so. You know, I was gonna say, normally I give the, everybody one, but I'm upset at their, their uh, equipment right now. You know, because we haven't actually paid off our phones yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get very mad if they say you have to pay them off to get a new phone because I can't use it right now. And, you know, like, I cannot, we can't afford what we've got right now. So, you know, I'm trying to get a, a for house training. phone for... You know, trying to get a house phone for the house would not be okay. Besides, I don't know if they do house phones anymore. Most people don't have a house phone. They have a cell phone. And that's, that's kind of funny because, you know, like, applications and stuff still ask, is this your home phone or your cell phone? And it's like, well, it's my cell phone, but... It's my house phone, too, kind of. And, you know, like, my husband's got, you know, his phone number and I've got mine. You know, share phone numbers. Okay, people, people look at that. But I do want to put out there that I am proud of my husband because I've had his phone number almost memorized for a while now, and he has not lost his phone or dropped it or anything like that. So I am proud of him. 
Usually, as soon as I uh, memorize his I phone number, you, you know, something happens to where I have to memorize a whole new number. You know, I might want to feed you more often if you didn't leave me on Mary Chase first. That's bugging me. I'm like, you know, oh, like the squirrels. You can go... Feel nice? Like the squirrels, you can go walk up to the... Where did she go? Oh. You can walk up to the squirrels and you can feed them. Well, I would like it if the rest of the animals that happen too. Okay, so I've been all over. I've completed my mission. All's quiet in this one. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> oh, my character's hungry, and well, I know that I've got a full chest of that. Not enough food, but hey <sighs> oh. so I don't know how to use that new Whoa. thing. You're supposed to be able to press a button. Supposed to be able to press a button and get all of the whatever it is. You know, like like the pumpkins just now. You're supposed to be able to press a button and get them all. So it doesn't take so long. Great in July. This valley is so friendly. Like a warm This valley is even better than a warm hug. Okay. Don't you just love <gasps> No, no. I like that it stays light longer in summer, but I don't like how hot it is. small problem because I, um, I was you humans are pretty great 
Yeah. Um, anyway, I got a small problem because, you know, you got like a, a voice over limit on, um, on my program, Speechalo. I love that program. This is not a paid advertisement, but I love it. Because you can make the guys sound like guys, you know, and there's I like, really like it here. you know, there, there's a bunch of different guy voices and a, diff a bunch of different uh, female voices. So, so a whole bunch of male voices and a whole bunch of female voices. And there's even a couple that sound like they could be either or. <laughs> For the people who don't want to identify. Um, like I use Abigail because it's supposed to be a girl voice, but it actually sounds like a guy voice with the accent. And he kind of sounds... Yeah, the voice kind of sounds like, like it's a guy who likes guys. Uh, but anyway. But anyway, whatever the voice is, I use it as my narrator. I mean, I use Abigail as my narrator. And then, um... Okay, let's put this stuff away. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, because, you know, like... Oh! I'm sorry, I don't have Twitch open. This is what happens when... Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. <laughs> So my niece, she was trying to talk to me. 81 followers? Wow. Okay. So. So, uh, Moose Stooge followed me 13 days ago. And raided me 12 days ago. And then, uh, Tommy... 201313 13, followed me 12 days ago. Huck underscore DY underscore we one followed me 11 days ago. Christy Marquez Marquez. I, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, 64 followed me four days ago. Chris Bowles. Followed me two days ago. And, uh, GTA friend is S108plays with a Z, with three Zs. Uh, followed me two days ago. Monica James underscore MJ followed me yesterday. And apparently... Uh, Madam Irma one? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, followed me 18 minutes ago. I wish I'd been on. <laughs> I mean, you know, wandering my stream. <laughs> anyway, thank you to everyone who has followed me. I very much appreciate it. Eighty-one. Wow. I remember when I had like like three. You know, I had like um had my husband, my sister, and 
maybe our friend Sidoran. Or maybe it was, uh, I don't know if it was Sidoran yet either. It might have been my niece. Uh, either way, uh, whoever it was, you know, I remember I thought, I'm never going to get that far. And then now I'm like really close to a hundred. Oh my goodness. So that is giving me hope that, you know, it's giving me hope that I can do this. Um, oh, I need to make a large chest instead then. Okay, and then what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. Oh! I'm like, and there's all this stuff, and where do I put it? And then I realized, duh. Hold on. You'll see that in a minute. Okay, so if there's one recommendation I can give you is to collect those black passion lilies as much as humanly possible because you will need them <laughs> I have no orange I have no purple Um, you know, the thing is that the black passion lilies are pretty rare. Um, they do show up, just they don't show up very often. And then, like, when you need them, they're not going to be there if you don't collect them. I think I only had one thing where it was like you had to collect them. Okay. And then we're going to figure out what's in here. Oh, cool. That's funny because it says white marble dresser. It's showing a oh, white-ish marble dresser. But then the little down there says, uh, I mean, you know, it's showing the, the little thing and it looks kind of pinkish purple. So that's something I may not have had yet. I don't know, but it's a possibility. could be crazy, but I don't remember actually seeing any of the dark blue ones. Or it was in a spot that I just... No, wait. I know that I've got both of those. Um, well, maybe not the uh, mint, but... No, I didn't want to go in the room. Um, in case you heard that, that was my speaker saying, uh, powering down because, you know, turning itself off because I wasn't using it. I am not quite awake yet. Okay, so I woke up at like 5.30 and then, um, was trying to go back to sleep, but it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, let's get up. Let's work. And, like I said, somewhere in there, um, I, I've been working on this for days. And somewhere in there, 
I messed up. Okay, so we go over here. We don't have to go over here. I just like to. Um, I am so... I am a little upset because I cannot get Mike and Sully's apartment. I cannot get the Art Deco or the uh, Goofy's Bayou stall. And I can't get a Reflection of China Bundle. I think everything else I own, yeah. What? Oh, the store is currently unavailable for Moonstones. Wow. Bet you that's upsetting some people right now. Unless it's just my house. Not that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do. Oh. You know... I was just thinking about... Um... You know, there, there's a video on YouTube right now where Darcy Lynn tried to sing without her puppets. And all the judges could see were the puppets. You know, like, the puppets are the cool thing. And, you know, she wanted to sing without them. And it, you know, all they could see was the puppets, so she didn't really get a fair shot. I don't, you know, I don't think she got a fair shot. She's like, I'm 18 now, or whatever, however old she was. And, you know, I don't think I need these anymore. And they couldn't see that, so they said that she didn't do a good job. I thought she did a great job. I was having a... Uh moment where I suddenly couldn't remember what I was doing. <laughs> um, it happens to me a lot. It's not like an Alzheimer's thing. It's just... It's just like... What I need to get? <laughs> so! So, yeah. Okay, so... So, the part that I screwed up on, like I said, was... Um, Sean is talking to Jesse and, you know, asking him, do you think this is what the girls were, uh, trying to do? And, you know, Jesse goes, yeah, I think that's exactly what they were trying to do. Or maybe it was Jesse asking Sean, but whatever. And, um, and Jesse... Oh, it was Jesse talking to Sean, yeah. Because I just remember, Jesse asked, and what's up with the girls almost looking like twins there? And, you know, almost looking like twins. Or dressing alike, and, and you know, because in this light, they almost look like twins. Even though Sean tells taller. Um, he doesn't say that part, but, you know, Sean tells is taller. And... And then, um, but I didn't actually have him say that. 
or I didn't, no, I mean, I, um, then Sean goes and, and says what he's going to say, and then goes, and what's up with them, you know, dressing alike, and, you know, they almost look like twins, but I didn't put that in, so, you know, that made, you know, that was like on page eight, or maybe page seven, so it's 14 pages, so I have to go and do that all over again, because I connected it all. You know, I thought it was good, and apparently it wasn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm really upset about it. I'm, I mean, it's only going to take me about two pages to get back to the spot that I was at, but I'm going to finish that last page. Um, the idea is that I'm going to finish that last page, and then... Uh, you know, call it something like last page. Or page 14 or something like that. You know, so I know it's the last page. And... Huh? I'm confused. Get your little butt over here. went over to that and then it I guess it went over to the carrot I don't know <gasps> Ooh! please be a puzzle piece please be a puzzle piece of course not it's never a puzzle piece when you want it to be Yeah, I'm like really salty about it because it's 14 pages and it took me so long to get to that point. And. You know, it took me so long. Although I got a new system which works out really good. There you go and make a second page and change all of the chantelles to the chantelle that you need it to be before you start piecing it together to audio it. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if if I you know if I didn't want it to sound awesome. I could just be lazy and just have, you know, the rest of the book be the author talking. But I don't like that idea. You know, I... If... If, uh... If I can get this perfect, I would like to be able to turn it into an audiobook. You know, it did say commercial license. You know, like, to where I can use it in my stories and all that. I mean, in my, um, YouTube videos and all that. So, I don't know if that translates to, yeah, you can make it into an audiobook. But, if I can. So then it would be available in a whole bunch of different things. Um... Uh, and that's making me segue into, I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to, uh, segue into, please buy my books from Amazon. Um, you just type in Tina Rash books, and my sister says it should come right up. Because, um, you know, she's got her own account, so... Yeah, you know, she's got her own Amazon account, so, you know, it's separate from mine, and that's important because then she can tell me what everybody else would see.
Um, anyway, their pirate's daughter, misfortune, hard times, Esperanza's party, the island, and adopted coral. And Esperanza's party is getting even better. Because, you know, I had I had parts where, like, you know, Jesse answered and then, you know, the person said something and then Jesse answered. And it's like, what was I thinking? Usually I don't come up with that, but I wrote that one a while ago. You know, a really long while ago. I mean, like, I started writing that one... Uh, I think I started writing that one before. Yeah, I think I started writing that one before we even moved to Carson City. I think. Not entirely sure, but probably. If not. If not, I've at least probably been writing it since, say, 2009. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, I've been writing it for a really long time. And I, you know, there's parts, there was parts in there where I'm like, okay, this doesn't make enough sense. Like, um... Like, it's a raised platform, you know, you, like, step up three steps, and then you're on, and then you're on the, the dance floor. You know, that kind of thing. And I didn't say that. It was just like that in my head. Because originally, when I wrote it, I was thinking it was just going to be a dance floor thing on the floor. And it wasn't going to be covered. And I didn't say that it was covered either. That's how I build it on, uh, you know, when I build it in Minecraft, I always build it with a covered roof. But it's like, it's more like, um, you know, like when I'm thinking about it, it's kind of more like that, you know, like you go to the Renaissance Fair and there's that mesh that is supposed to be a roof. I don't know if mesh is the right word either, but anyway. Something like that. You know, so you have a little bit of shade. You're not directly in the sun. But, um... Yeah. So, Adopted Coral is about my cat. And I'm not even sure what I put in there. Because I literally wrote it in an afternoon. Well, let's pick up the... We'll find room for it. I don't know where, but we'll find room for it. Oh, I must have saw that. <laughs> Looked like a bamboo, but apparently it wasn't. Anyway, I'm not sure what's in there, except that I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a, a spot in there where, you know, this is my brother, and this is my other brother, and then this is my daddy. But I don't really remember. There, m there might be an awesome picture when uh, our cat Nancy, she was a kitten at the time, she finally decided that I was a safe place to take a nap. And, you know, like, 
it's one of those those times when you know you're like so happy that you almost cry had to have my husband take a picture um Anyway, it's a cute little book. It's for kids. And I'm kind of hoping that the whole series, you know, when, when the rest of the series comes out, um, teaches kids that it's okay to be adopted. Or maybe that it's okay to live with grandma and grandpa instead of mom and dad. Or your aunt and uncle. Um, that wasn't the idea of the series though, it's just that we've got, you know, three cats, we adopted every single one of them, and, you know, each of them are going to have a different story. Although Quarles is, you know, we don't know what happened to her. Her and her sister got dumped off in a box at the back of the Nevada Humane Society. And then the, the uh, Nevada Humane Society was like, let's adopt them out. <laughs> um, they had to find, you know, foster parents and our... friend at the time. I don't really count him as a friend now. He's somebody to talk to, but not a friend. But anyway, um, you know, like, like if you see him at the W, you know, you talk to him, but You know, if you see him at the W, you talk to him, but if you, I mean, but if you're bored on a Saturday or something like that, you don't go and ask him, hey, let's go to the mall. <laughs> anyway, it was really, uh, it was really kind of a sad story because, uh, they happened to be sick and, I don't know if the people were just like, oh, they're sick kittens, they're not going to live anyway, so let's put them back here. Or if it was something a lot better that, you know, maybe the people didn't have enough money to get the medicine <laughs> and they you have yourself a swell day. made sure that they were at a spot that they could get that medical attention. I don't know what the deal was, but, um, yeah, Coral and maybe her sister had upper respiratory when they were kittens. I know Coral did. Um, uh, anyway, the doctor said it wasn't contagious or anything like that. And, uh... And there was literally a lady saying, oh no, this one's sick. You, you should put her down. And it's like, no. That's my baby. And I get hostile when you go and, you know, say stuff about my baby like that. So, uh... So, I basically... You know, I said, no, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to do that. And Coral is 13 years old now. I hope her sister, wherever she is, is uh, okay too. And 13 and, you know, nice healthy cat. Is she moved down on us when she was about three. I can't remember. 
how old she was. I just remember that she moved down on us. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to go and collect all the flowers. <laughs> Those night thorns are the worst, am I right? Oh yeah. But not too much that I can't handle. So, so like I said, I'm frustrated. I was gonna, okay, so I was gonna do it to where it was the one page and then the, the, I mean, you know, to where the one file said page one and then the next file said page two. But then I was like, you know, they're all sounding great, they're fine. And then I got to that one chapter and apparently I wasn't paying attention because it was messed up and I fused it together with the rest of it, so. So this time when I do the, the first seven, I'm gonna probably do, you know, this is page one and don't fuse it together. And then this is page two and don't fuse it together. You know. So our pastor a long time ago, um, I don't even remember what year that was. I mean, that makes sense because that was a long time ago. But uh, he gave us the challenge of writing out the Bible. You know, writing it out by hand. And I translated that to typing it out. That's what, that's what somebody else in our, um, our church did. They went and typed, you know, they went and typed it out, had it done in like just a few months. And I don't see how they did that. Um, they must have been like the best typists in the world or something. Um... You know, because I, I have a lot of typos. Sometimes I uh, put had instead of has and has instead of had. And it drives me nuts. But one of these days I'm going to have it, you know, all typed out perfect. Um, I'm trying to turn that into an audiobook too. But I'm not going to be able to, you know, like if I'm on the train ride, I'm not going to be able to... Um, if I'm on the uh, train ride, I'm not going to be able to listen to it with both ears because uh, I need to be able to hear the stops. I kept getting freaked out that I was going to like miss my stop and then finally we got there and it was okay. We because it was, uh, you know, me and everybody else on the train. And by the time we got, and by the time we got there, the train station was closed because it was like, you know, just a few days before, um, no, a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Um, I got there on Tuesday and. And I was supposed to be at my dad's house on Thursday. And then on top of that, on top of that, uh, not that. And on top of that, I didn't have a car because I was like, okay, we'll get down there. We'll rent a car. You know, we've never had any trouble renting a car before. Uh, me and my husband. And we had trouble this time. There was nothing in, you know, because I come from a pretty big town. Uh, you know, a pretty big place. And 
for some reason there was no car rentals in the whole entire city. I should have like, you know, uh, rented a U-Haul or something. There you go. How much mileage you can put on this? Well, I might go... Uh, I'm definitely going to my dad's. I might go to the Jelly Belly factory. That's about it. <laughs> okay, so the rest of that stuff... Hold on. There. The rest of that stuff is for the other room. So, wow! I did not mean to take that long. Yep, nope. <laughs> so, there's a show called Make Room for Daddy. And I've got it on DVD. Or, I've got like the first four episodes on DVD. And one of the episodes, they go to uh, the wife's hometown, Boogaloo Junction, or something like that. Maybe that was what he was calling it. Anyway, if I didn't say it right, I'm sorry. But, um, but anyway, they were going there. And, and, uh, you know, the husband's a city boy, you know, the, the daddy person. Um, he's a city boy, so he's. You know, he's making fun of them, and that's where he goes, nope, yep, yep, nope. <laughs> I haven't watched that one in, in that episode in a really long time, so. So, um. Oh gosh, we're up to that part already? Anyway, I haven't watched it in a really long time, so I don't know exact situation. So there's this there's this thing off you know, I get I guess on the voice they have a um a lot of, you know, we put like Cindy and and Ben together and, you know, see who sings better out of the two of them. Kind of thing. And uh, they're singing, I'll do, uh, I'll do anything for love, or I will do anything for love, something like that. My magic can feel how special you know, that I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> anyway, they're singing that one, and I thought that the two oh, sounded good together. Um, you know, the two, the two on here. Um, actually, okay, there, there's, oops, that's not what I wanted. I've got that already. I don't care if my, if your stock's not always the same. I don't need it. Um, anyway, there's two couples on there, and I thought they sounded really good together. So, like, maybe they shouldn't be a single. Maybe they should be a duet. This village is beautiful. Okay. Oh, that's where she is. Excuse me. Dang, that store's full today.
Okay, I think that's it for now. Yeah, we found the okay, we found the blue chest. It's raining outside. Well, let's see about changing her outfit. I actually like that dress a lot. But, um... Is that what I was wearing? And then, well, no, we're gonna, we're gonna put that on. I love that hat. <laughs> I like the, I like the, uh, Mickey Mouse ears even more because. This is weird. This is a turkey leg hat <laughs> around the brim, and then all the other foods, except for one, I think, are on here. See, that to me says Thanksgiving. So if it doesn't have all the foods on it. Well, okay, so it's got turkey legs in on the ears. And then it's got Dole Whip, gingerbread cookie, and ice cream. But if you look at my whole outfit, so it's got it's got the Dole Whip, the ice cream, the waffles, the turkey leg, uh, strawberry, watermelon, my hero cookie, uh, some fruit, like lemons and stuff, candy, watermelon. Oh! I'm missing a spot. Didn't quite go all the way over. Right there. Oh. Okay. I'll have to work on that then. Um. I don't know how to switch. I don't know. I think I would freak out if a different umbrella came. I really do. I think I would freak out. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, we're done getting dressed and <gasps> so now that I have to go and do the whole thing over again I um, I have to do my whole um, chapter 44 again um well, not the whole thing. 
I can do the last page and then I have to go and piece everything else together again. Ugh. Well, okay, so I've got like from the mess up and um, to a certain spot so I can go and piece that together again, but I won't have to like, you know, pull the pieces from the file and, you know, put it in there. Um, yeah, I'm really frustrated, but anyway, it'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Hopefully today. Um, it wasn't the idea. But I got 81 followers, so that's really awesome. 81. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Okay. So, like I said, please buy my books from Amazon. Um, please, if you're watching me on YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe, notification bell. If you're watching me on Twitch, please watch me. <laughs> and, and, uh, follow and comment. You know, follow and chat. You know, I'm normally monitoring my... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm normally wandering the chat. I don't do it as diligently as some other people, but I think I'm a little better than some others. So, I'm not trying to, like, be big-headed saying that, but, you know, like, like, I'll go and put in a comment and they won't notice, but then, like, you know, somebody else goes and puts in a comment and it's like, Oh, I missed this comment and this comment and this comment and this comment. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it happens to me too, so I'm not really picking on them. I'm just saying we all need to work on this, you know? Um, okay, so that's that, and that's that. Then I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. You are important. You do matter. There's nothing you cannot solve or handle, even work in school. I have at least one friend right here and uh, I'm gonna say happy Thanksgiving two weeks early and I will see you in the next stream or video but before I go just so the uh, copyright police don't yell at me streaming friendly mode is on and it replaces copyrighted music from the game <gasps> really <laughs> Okay.